morning guys we are out at the grocery store doing some shopping I'm staring at all these delicious pies I forgot to vlog so we're actually getting ready to check out these little pies I'll just look for some uh... looking for cashews for Vada but gosh why are nuts so expensive $5.49 for that I know they're so good. If you want some, get your own. <laughs> How much are these bags, though? Probably these. Are you sure? Where do you see the price? Buy one get one free. Wonderful pistachios. He's not even going to share with me. Get two more. No. Ten bucks on pistachios, Bada. That's, that's what crazy. This, that's what this was gonna be. Ten dollars. I love pistachios. This is what I get out of two bags. Bada. I told you I was gonna get <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we have food in our fridge once again. My shaking is getting worse, guys. I was trying to write earlier, and I was shaking so hard I couldn't do it. Anyway, so we got six dinners, um, spaghetti one night, cube steaks, uh, we're going to do chicken and rice and pork chops and uh, spam and mac and cheese. We got lunch meat and bread, eggs, plenty of soda, that milk, the gallon of milk was free. They had a deal where if you got four breakfast items, so we got two boxes of cereal, two box, the big boxes of um, Pop-Tarts, which we hardly ever get, but it was a nice treat. Um, four of those for 10 bucks and then you get a free gallon of milk which is always a deal. Some pickles for our sandwiches and because Eric's daughter loves pickles. Um, and then our freezer is also full. We did get a pizza for a lazy night. Uh, hamburger meat for spaghetti. We got garlic toast to go with that. Brussels sprouts. Um, he got some hot pockets for you know snacks when because he's always hungry. And um, we got extra bread. Those are the pop, uh, the Hot pockets. I've got more cream for my coffee. I've got more coffee. That's the spam to go with the mac and cheese. We got some mixed greens, some cream of chicken for our um, chicken and yellow rice. That's for spaghetti, obviously. I got chocolate pop tarts. So four for ten bucks. That makes everything two fifty a piece, and these are usually like four bucks. Um, and he got s'mores. We got two boxes of these for four bucks, and they're usually a dollar for four pack. So that was a pretty good deal. We'll take those in the truck for, you know, when I get hungry sitting there in a snack. Noodles. We got chips to go with our lunches. Here's one of the bags of pistachios. You guys saw our yellow rice. Um, and then our cereal. We got Raisin Bran and Mini Wheats Little Bites chocolate. And potatoes too. I noticed after I got home yesterday that my female guppy in here has some some white stuff on her body. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. She does not look well. Um, wow. One side of her face is black. That is really strange that wasn't like that last night so anyway I took all the plants and the filter out and treated the tank um, with a few different things just to cover all my bases because I don't really know what that is that's freaking me out that her eye looks like that um, and I got some more water to do water changes and I just put the plants and the filter in here my succulents seem to be doing pretty well. I keep watering them, but they don't seem to be absorbing much of the water. <laughs> like, it just runs right through. So, I don't know if I need to do something different. These guys are doing well. Except that female that was sick, she still hasn't put much weight back on. So, I don't know if she's going to make it or not. She seems okay, but we'll see. I made a lid for our snail tank so they wouldn't escape while we were gone. Lucky for me, I have a, uh, Eric has a soldering iron, so it made it very easy. I just made a hole there for the 
tubing and I actually changed out a little um, pump used to be on this one but it wasn't doing much in here with the filter so I changed it out with a bigger one and now this filter is doing much better lots more bubbles and you can actually see movement in there so these guys guys are doing pretty good I think getting big they're all hiding it seems here's one got some new root growth on my pothos in here see the white tips that's new growth so they're finally starting to root up I've got some unboxings to do so I'm gonna do that in just a second this is mr. mucus from the mucinex commercials here this is uh, you may recognize them a little better that way there's a campaign going on where I'm supposed to take him out on activities with me and post my photos to social media. And this is so stinking cute. And I wanted to let you know, Retro Mickey, that I finally sent off your package today. It's uh, coming as, it's being sent as a letter. I'm not sure why, um, but so they said it may take a little bit longer to get there. I'll email you with the information. I haven't even looked at the receipt to see if there was a tracking number or anything. I'm assuming that there should be. But um, I'll email you that information. When I went to the post office, I saw these. Some kind of uh, cypress tree or um, evergreen tree had these little pine cone looking things. Um, and I just thought those were so cool. I'd never seen them before, so I picked up a couple to bring home with me. Wait, it doesn't take me very long to make a mess. My goodness. Eric brought me back a couple of t-shirts from his trip. Um, and they fit me perfectly, so that was pretty cool. Here comes Toby Cat. Hi, kitty. I wanted to show you guys this citrus tree. Um, I actually found it a couple years ago over there by that fence, so I put it in this little pot. I found a bunch of them in the woods, just dumped out in the woods. So when I found it, it was probably that tall, and it's been doing very well. It's almost as tall as I am now. Look at these thorns. They're massive. So I'd like to send it to my mom's where I know it'll be taken care of. Hello, rooster. Hello, chickens. Hello, everyone. You got your girls. You got all your girls. You're a lot nicer than the rooster at mom's house. Though he's related to you guys. I don't know why he's so mean. And so big. Look what I just spotted. Just laying there in the leaves. Look at that. That's another reason chickens are useful. They dig up all kinds of stuff. Yay. Another one to add to our collection. That one's unique. You guys are awesome. Thanks. When are you guys going to give me eggs? It's been a long time. I need eggs. I don't like paying for them. They're old. You're a good boy, Toby. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. I think we'll keep you. I'm a good boy. <laughs> We got little blackberry bushes sprouting up everywhere. Look how pretty that flower is. There's a few more. Oh look! There's a little fruit. That means we should be able to pick some soon. I wonder if the mulberry trees have started fruiting yet. My mom just planted one of these in her yard. Yep. Soon, soon we will have mulberries. 
I like these low branches because the chickens can come over here and munch on berries. It's just one low branch here. And then the big tree. And then this one here is a pecan tree. Giant mushroom formations. This is a prettier one there. Some moss growing too. What are you Ow, kitty! <laughs> no, you can't do that. That hurts. Look at that. Hello, pretty. Hello. Toby says, hello. I know you. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly. they put them in pies and stuff. Yeah, all this in here is all covered in blackberries when they come into season. Oh, it's all fu fuzzy. There you go. And this over here used to be an open field, and then this company came in and started tearing everything up. I don't know what they're doing with it out there. There was a bunch of old houses there in the 1900s. Yeah. I'd love to metal detect right through there. Although, get in right there. Yeah. Our kitty's following yeah. us like a, like little puppies. We used to have four of them, four or five of them following us on walks. Like little puppies. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, Toby. Come on. What is it? What'd you find? Somebody just dumped all these dead shrubs out here, but look at these branches. How twisty and curly they are. I think I'm gonna come back for some of these for my fish tanks. Toby's acting really strange out here. Marking his territory and crying. Anyway, I gotta get this stuff back in. Oh, yeah, back set up again, get back into the truck. You ready to get back to work? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You gotta work. You know? yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for it, you know, but... I figured after taking a vacation and then working a few days and going on your little trip, maybe you'd be refreshed. Yeah, I mean, I am. I definitely feel better for sure, but... I mean... It's work. Yeah, it's work, <laughs> you know. Nobody's excited about it. There's the vitamins my mom sent home with me. Uh, most of them are just B-complex different varieties and a multivitamin show me to take them at night which I thought B was supposed to be for energy she said it helps with the stress and stuff so for dinner tonight I am going to finish up the lunch that Bada got me at um, this little restaurant earlier I had, um, it was baked Cajun catfish. It was really, really good. And this is some kind of Irish mashed potatoes. I can't remember what they call them. This mac and cheese is really good. And this is Thai stir fry something. It's a little, little spicy like curry, but it's really good. So I'm going to finish this up for dinner and then tomorrow night I'll be making cube steaks. Alright guys, it's getting late and Eric is already in bed. I didn't realize he had gone to sleep, but I just got into my PJs, my comfy PJs, and I'm going to finish editing this real quick and get it ready for upload tomorrow morning, I guess, and um, I'm going to go lay down. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Come along with us on our day today, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.